My name is Gentry Ralph, and this is my story. Well, as a child, uh, I was never raised in church, was never involved. Uh, we, we just never went. We'd go periodically uh, whenever the mood was right. Just never, never was a part of our, uh, our lives. So uh, after high school, joined the military, was in the military for a while. Uh, when I got out, uh, still nothing had changed. I was still the same person. I uh, struggled finding work. Ended up moving in with my parents here in uh, Tennessee. And they, uh, they helped me out, let me work for them for a little bit until I got my feet on the ground and then found a job uh, working at a uh, collision center, uh, which I did for several years. But while I was living at their house, they had tried to talk me into coming to church quite a bit. And it, it wasn't something that I was ready to do. I, I didn't feel like I could be forced into anything. The more you push me, towards that, the further I would get away. I went to a concert we had here that, that was put here one day. I still didn't really feel anything. I didn't have any interaction with anybody. I was just here, uh, just to listen to music. I believe it was next Sunday or maybe a few Sundays later, I came, it was my first, first time here and I believe it was in 2009. And uh, I knew then uh, it was home. It's where I was supposed to be. Um, I'd always said I was going to go to other churches, look around, see what I could find, um, see if I found a place that was better, and I never went anywhere else, never had a need. Um, started struggling with work again, uh, had gotten let go from a couple different places, uh, was working at this one place, uh, same position, uh, worked there for two weeks, had a falling out uh, with uh, the management, and I walked out the door. At this time, I'd already seen God's Not Dead. Uh, I'd seen it probably a month before that happened. And that movie changed me quite a bit. Uh, I'd already been going to church for a while. When I saw that movie, uh, it made me realize that there's no point in holding this back, the, all these feelings that, that you've been having and you know every service being being pulled at and being tugged at and knowing that, uh, or not knowing what was going on. I was confused. I had no idea. Um, but watching God's Not Dead, it, it changed me. It made me realize that what was going on and what was happening to me and that I needed to do something about it. Back to when I, I walked out of my job, I had a feeling at that time that I, I didn't know where I was going to go, didn't know what I was going to do, didn't have a job lined up didn't care. Just had a feeling in my heart that I knew um, that I was going to go in the right direction, that God was going to put me where he wanted me. I called my mom and went over to their house, uh, sat and talked for a few minutes, and then we uh, called Brother Don. Don't know what he was doing, and uh, sorry for taking him off of something, but he probably didn't care. Uh, he rushed right over and uh, saved me right then. A few weeks later, I was baptized. 31 years old <laughs> and if I could describe the weight that was pulled off of me I can't even describe I mean there's no way to it's just the feeling was amazing I was unemployed for about six months last year went through a lot of rough times uh, had some you know family in the hospital in and out uh, I had a good friend pass away. Had a lot of rough times. Uh, for some reason, I never got stressed. Never got upset. I may get to lose my house in a few months, but I'm not scared. Not at all. I know I'll, I'll be where I need to be. I'm the happiest right now I've ever been in my life. At 32 years old can't ask for anything else. My name's Chichi Ralph, and I believe in Jesus Christ. You split the sea so I can